need water to live. We need water for drinking, agriculture, energy, and health. In the Colorado River Basin and the Intermountain West, demands on our water supplies are changing. Today, we know what our water needs are and are beginning to understand our water supply. But we need to know what they both will be like 10, 20, 30 years from now. Without a better understanding of our water resources, it will be difficult to plan for the future to ensure that there will be enough water to meet our changing needs. CI Water has four main elements to help us get a better idea of how much water we'll have and where it will be so we can plan accordingly. First, we need lots of data on water sources, on how water moves through the landscape, and on how climate change affects the availability of water. Science is producing massive amounts of data. We need computers and computer models to filter the volumes of data and produce the detailed high-resolution forecasts that will be useful for planning. The CI Water Project is developing computer models that can process these data and generate forecasts of water availability. CI Water is working on different types of computer models to help us understand how water is likely to behave in certain areas such as the Colorado River Basin and also how factors such as climate change and population growth are likely to affect water systems. To run these CI Water simulations and models, our researchers need computer systems and networks that are faster than ever before. Fortunately, Utah and Wyoming have been working together on building the capacity that we need now and will need in the future to analyze and share these data. This is where the CI in CI Water comes in. It stands for Cyber Infrastructure. To run one of the CI Water models, you need a computer that's hundreds of times more powerful than the typical desktop computer you might have at home or at school. We get that power by combining many of these computers into large clusters, and these clusters are housed in special facilities such as the University of Utah's Downtown Data Center in Salt Lake City and the new NCAR Wyoming Supercomputer Center in Cheyenne. We also need networks to connect these researchers to the data and supercomputer centers so that they can access the data, use the models, and share the results more broadly, not only with the scientific community, but also with the water use community. Data, models, and infrastructure are useful only if we have people who understand and are able to use them. To help prepare for the future, CI Water is helping scientists, educators, kids, and young adults understand water resource management, water science, computer science, and related subjects. We're developing educational materials, we're hosting science events, we're hosting national speakers, hosting teacher workshops and computer coding camps for teens and young adults. Through these education and outreach activities, CI Water is helping the next generation of water scientists and water resource managers have the necessary tools and knowledge to manage our resources for the future.